Hi folks, good morning. It's John with the Wingman 115 channel. Checking in. A little bit puffy eyed today. Voice is a little bit raspy. Got in late last night. The wife and I did a three day, I'm calling it the Smoking the Bandit road trip. And uh, I'll have a video coming out on that, but make long story short, we did about 1300 miles uh, on this road trip. But saw a lot of good sights. I'm gonna be sharing that with you soon. But today, I'm picking up Nick. He's my air gun gunsmith, no stranger to this channel. And we're heading out to do a little bit of uh, ground squirrel hunting, maybe even some jackrabbit hunting. So it looks like it's gonna be a really nice day. And I wanted to bring you along with me. So come along, let's go. Well, we're out at our hunting location. There's Nick in the background right there. We saw a bunch of ground squirrels as we were driving in. We saw two coyotes, so there's a bunch of activity out here. Hopefully we'll be able to capture some good footage today and uh, share it with you guys. But just a beautiful day, about 80 degrees right now. And uh, we're just looking forward to uh, spending the day out here relaxing. Come along. I got Nick with me. He's no stranger to the channel. Hey Nick, tell the viewers uh, what rig you're running today in your setup. What I'm running today is my Condor 22 caliber. Uh, it's built off of a SS frame, uh, regulated. Uh, it's regulated to about 2,700 PSI. I'm shooting JSB knockout slugs at about 990 to 1,000 feet per second. Got my Donny FL, keep it nice and quiet. And uh, built for long range shots, but close range it handles too. Nice. Uh, quick uh, gear question. What sort of uh, bipod you running on there? This is just a LRA uh, knockoff. It's very stable uh some it's got some you know different adjustability to it it's got some length to it nice. it's nice and lightweight with the carbon fiber but it's got a really wide stance so bench rest um whatever it just works out good and it's not super heavy and your scope system scope system i have is just a first focal plane it's a zeiss conquest um and then i got the tacticam on it nice. um, for great image quality and videos and don't gotta think twice nice all right, let's get on them. Absolutely. All right, we've seen probably two or three. There's one that's been coming out on top of that rock. There's one that's been coming out on top of this rock. Get my finger out of the way so it'll... And one down below right there. So there's a lot of stuff moving around out here today. Right now, to that rock is 60 yards. And we're posted up behind some boulders as like a natural blind. So we sat on that one spot for a little bit. We switched locations. We got a nice rock outcropping up here where we've seen some activity and we're under some really cool shades. So we're gonna post up for a little bit, see if we can't get some action on video for you folks. So we're posted up in a spot right now underneath an oak tree out to the top of that boulder outcroppings probably about 50 yards and we've been seeing a couple big old fatties just running around out there so we're hoping if we sit still a little bit we might be able to capture something on video for you guys So we changed locations again because if you come out here just thinking that there's going to be thousands of targets to go after, I mean, it's a challenge. And like my buddy Dana from Mountain Sports Air Gun says, it's like trophy ground squirrel hunting. They make you work for it. So where you might go on a permission that has a ranch, 
horse ranch or you know a cattle feed lot there might be hundreds of ground squirrels out here we might only see a handful and uh, as soon as you make any movement to get close they're down so you have to be patient but there's just a lot of area here for them to hide a lot of stuff to eat So Nick and I were talking, it looked like that shot, whatever that chickmunk had in its hands, I think I connected and we're going to have to review the uh, video on that. If so, I mean, that was kind of cool. I was holding one full mill dot over uh, on that one, sighted in at 75. So I'm just trying to gauge it over and under, still learning this gun. The, the gauntlet is such a fun gun to shoot. This right here, if you're not familiar with cactus in the Southwest is Choya. They call this the jumping cactus because it seems like whenever you get near it, you always wind up with some of it on you. As a mountain biker, all the time, I used to get at my tires, get at my legs. I would always carry some duct tape with me and a Leatherman just to pull out the uh, needles. But uh, this stuff's everywhere out here. So Nick and I bushwhacked over this hill. There's an area down below that we had seen a couple ground squirrels at. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, if you think you're gonna come out here and just play whack-a-mole, you're gonna be disappointed. But uh, stuff's out here, it's a challenge, and that's what makes it fun. Some of these shots, we saw one that was what, over 200 yards, over right? Over 250. Yeah, about 250 yards. So, I mean, you gotta work, but that's part of the uh, reward when you uh, get one out here. Now. We saw two coyotes this morning as well. And look at this, this is just perfect area. So we may come back to this area later at a later date with our call and uh, see if we can't call one in. So hopefully we're gonna sit, sit on this for a little bit. It's getting hot out, but uh, we're gonna stick it out for a little bit longer and see what happens. Got him. Well, we thought we were going to be goose egg as far as the confirmation. There was a couple that we thought might have been good solid hits. Nick had one that it looked like he hit the uh, granite and it just splintered. He got hit by fragments or yeah. something, huh? Yep. But uh, we'll roll the tape, see what we see, and share it with you guys. As always, we're going to share real world stuff with you folks. Not like TV where they're just going to show you the, the fluff. You know, there's a lot of times you're going to work your ass off and not get anything. And some days it's just like that. Just walking out, it just popped out of nowhere, huh? That's what I call hunting, not killing. There you go. All right, folks. This is John with the Wingman 115 channel and... Nick. All right. Take care, folks. We'll see you on the next video.